Adalimumab, also known as Euphlema, is used to reduce pain and swelling caused by certain types of arthritis, such as rheumatoid, psoriatic, juvenile idiopathic, and ankylosing spondylitis. It is also used to treat certain skin disorders like plaque-type psoriasis and hydratinitis suppurativa. This medication works by blocking a protein called tumor necrosis factor, TNF, in the body's immune system, which is responsible for joint swelling and damage in arthritis, as well as red scaly patches in psoriasis. Adalimumab belongs to a class of drugs known as TNF blockers. By reducing joint swelling, this medication helps to minimize further joint damage and preserve joint function. Additionally, it is also used to treat certain bowel conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, as well as a certain eye disease called uveitis. The recommended daily dosage and optimal timing for taking Euphlema should be discussed with your healthcare provider to ensure the best results. Before using Euphlema, CF, auto-injector 40 mg per 0.4 ml subcutaneous kit, make sure to read the medication guide and instructions for use provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. If you are using this medication at home, learn all preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional and the product package. Before using, check this product visually for particles or discoloration. If either is present, do not use the liquid. If you are removing this medication from the refrigerator, leave it at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before injecting. Do not warm up this medication any other way such as by heating in the microwave or placing in hot water. Before injecting each dose, clean the injection site with rubbing alcohol. Change the injection site each time to lessen injury under the skin. New injections should be given at least 1 inch, 2.5 centimeter, from an old site. Do not inject into any areas of the skin that are sore, bruised, red, or hard. Use this medication exactly as prescribed. Inject this medication under the skin on the thigh or abdomen as directed by your doctor, usually every other week or once a week in some cases. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. In children, the dosage is also based on weight. If you are using this medication to treat psoriasis, hydratinitis suppurativa, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or uveitis, your doctor may prescribe a different schedule slash higher dose at the start of your treatment. Carefully follow your doctor's directions for using this medication. Learn how to store and discard medical supplies safely. Use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. To help you remember, mark the day on the calendar when you need to receive this medication. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. Tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. Some common side effects at the injection site may occur such as redness, itching, pain, or swelling. If any of these effects linger or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's essential to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has determined that the benefit to you outweighs the risk of side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. Be sure to inform your doctor immediately if you notice signs of infection while using this drug, such as a persistent sore throat, cough, fever, or trouble breathing. Other serious side effects to report to your doctor include changes in heart rhythm, new or worsening symptoms of heart failure, blood in the stools, mental-slash-mood changes, severe headache, easy bruising-slash-bleeding, and more. Rare but serious side effects to watch for include symptoms of liver damage, such as nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, stomach pain, yellowing of the eyes or skin, and dark urine. Additionally, Seek medical help right away if you experience seizures or chest pain. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other unusual effects. In the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. This medication may lower your body's ability to fight off infections, which could lead to serious or even fatal infections such as fungal and bacterial infections, including tuberculosis. 
It's important to inform your doctor of any past, recent, or current infections, as well as any history of living or traveling in areas where certain fungal infections are common, or if you have been in close contact with someone with tuberculosis. Your doctor will also test you for tuberculosis before and during treatment with this drug. Additionally, there is a small risk of developing cancer, especially in children, teens, and young adults, so it's crucial to discuss the risks and benefits of treatment with your doctor. Be sure to notify your doctor if you experience symptoms such as a persistent fever, unusual lumps or growths, swollen glands, unexplained weight loss, or night sweats. Before using Euphlema, CF, auto-injector 40 mg per 0.4 ml subcutaneous kit, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, especially to adalimumab or any adalimumab products. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. It's also important to provide your medical history to your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have had recent infections, blood or bone marrow problems, seizures, certain brain or nerve disorders, cancer, heart disease, or lupus. Adalimumab can increase your risk of getting infections or make current infections worse, so it's important to avoid contact with anyone who has a contagious infection. Additionally, it's important to inform your healthcare professional before getting any vaccinations and to avoid contact with people who have recently received live vaccines. To reduce the risk of injury, it's important to use caution with sharp objects and to avoid activities that may cause injury, such as contact sports. Before undergoing any surgery, Make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using. It's also important to note that older adults may be at a higher risk for infections and cancer while using this medication. If you are pregnant, it's important to discuss the risks and benefits of using this medication with your doctor. Additionally, this medication passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Euphlema, CF, Auto-injector 40 mg per 0.4 ml subcutaneous kit inflammatory bowel agents include other TNF blockers, such as etanercept, infliximab, and other drugs that weaken the immune system, such as abatacept, anakinra. Always consult your healthcare provider before taking any new medications along with euphlema. If someone takes too much euphlema, CF, and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, they should call 911. Otherwise, they should contact a poison control center immediately. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, they can call a provincial poison control center. It's important to remember not to share this medication with others. While using this medication, it's important to have regular lab and or medical tests, such as a complete blood count and liver function tests. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about when to take the next dose. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing Euphlema, CF, auto-injector 40 mg per 0.4 ml subcutaneous kit, it's important to keep it in the refrigerator, but be sure not to freeze it. Some brands may also be stored at room temperature, so check with your pharmacist or read the product package for specific instructions. Once the medication has been stored at room temperature, do not put it back in the refrigerator. Keep the medication in the original container to protect it from light, and be sure to discard any unused portion. It's important to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to disposing of the medication, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed, and consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 
Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.